uh, PLC overview with the schematic pages. So technically when you look at an e-plant project, it's often seen that people will generate an overview page of all your PLC racks, PLC cards. From this overview itself, uh, we get a uh, cross-reference back to the uh, schematics, which is quite useful actually to, uh, to jump from here to the schematics. But of course, we want the information to be exactly identical on each side. So let's take here the pin number three on this card. We jump over and we can see here the PLC itself, the pin number three with the same IO address. Now, what happens if, for instance, you change this whole page here and you say, okay, this complete rack that was actually set right now to rack ID number three, I'll actually change it and I'll move it a little bit and it's going to actually going to be uh, rack uh, number uh, 05, let's say, or even, yeah, whatever, 5. This means you change the rack ID to f from 3 to 5. Second thing you move around are all these PLC cards that actually fit on that rack. So these cards, you can see them here. These are actually the cards and the CPU that are actually placed there. So opening the properties of the PLC boxes you will be able to change this module is placed on rack 3, you change it to rack number 5. Now, by doing this, uh, most certainly some of your addresses will be wrong. So, technically in this particular uh, system here, we are numbering our PLC I.O. addresses, let's even zoom even closer, according to the rack we're actually on. So, what happens plan you can renumber all of these in one single click PLC addresses you run them and there you go you just click OK and the uh, PLC settings actually read the information from the PLC module transfer it onto the addresses now this is now done on the schematic side but unfortunately we, uh, on the overview side, on the schematics, we still have the old address. How do we match now the PLC schematics to the overview? Well, we have a trick there. You actually open the PLC Navigator for this. In the PLC Navigator, you start, start by selecting the digital input multi-line. So I created the filter. The filter is quite simple. All we do is we look for PLC DI, digital inputs, and the representation type multi-line. We filter them out. We can see them here. Here they are. They are all addressed by uh, the, the module being placed on rack ID number 3, and we want this to be renumbered according to the overview. So now what we will do is we will match the schematics to the overview. Use connection point blockwise is the menu to use, and here we want to use the digital input overview as a filter, so what we're doing here is we're picking the cards we want to match up to. And here you can see on the left-hand side what it is, on the right-hand side what it's going to be matched up to. Now, of course, as soon as you click OK, this will reflect in your schematics. You can see here the schematic side matching what we had on the overview side. Now, you can do this individually for overviews and uh, of the inputs or of the outputs, so let's redo it. Digital Output Multiline. Select, we select them, then we go to the menu, PLC Use Connection Point Blockwise. On this side here, we actually use a filter called Digital Output Overview. This is actually to find all the overview cards, we only have two, and we will see here on the right hand side, it actually matches them up. Now a few of them are uh, free and available, that's fine, that's a different thing, and there you go, it's done. Now, of course, in this matching, if there are some differences in numbers, it will not be able to actually do them all. It can only do the ones that actually uh, do match. So technically, if you have more schematics than you have overviews, then uh, you don't have all the schematics reassigned to the overviews. That means actually that in the overview, or actually in the real life, you are one card down on your bill of material, you're missing one card. Anyways, you can find out errors like this. So this was how to match PLC overviews 
with your PLC um, schematics. So here you can see this one, if I go F, I jump over, I can see exactly the same address actually on this side. So there's a perfect match. This was Roland from ePlan Canada.